Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the AI Diaxis OBD tool. You will receive the scanner and an instruction sheet. The unit has a plastic body that measures 4.5 inches by 2.5 inches by 1 inch. It's got a 1 and 3 quarter inch LCD, up and down menu navigation keys, an OK button, and back button. Attached is a 38 inch cable with standard OBD2 connector. What this device allows you to do is read and resolve diagnostic codes and errors for your car. For example, if your check engine light is on, or you're having some other kind of problem with your vehicle, you can troubleshoot it with this tool. The unit is basically plug and play. First, you'll need to locate the DLC port in your car. In the 2010 Honda Civic, it's under the dash on the right hand side. It might be in a different spot depending on your vehicle model, so check your user manual if you're not sure. Plug the connector on the end of the scanner into this port. Then turn on your car, and the unit will turn on automatically. The main menu that appears allows you to choose Diagnostics, look up Diagnostic Trouble Codes, or DTCs, change the tool's settings, or read help info about the tool. So, for example, in the Diagnostics, you can read the error codes, clear them, check readiness monitors, data stream, and so on. If you're unsure about what each option does, go to the Help section of the main menu, and that's where you can learn more about the OBD2 tool, the various modes, and look up specific menu options and find out what they're used for. Finding fault codes can be helpful for determining specific problems with your vehicle, so you can fix them or go to the repair shop with exactly the problem you have. The trouble with fault codes, though, is that they're just a string of letters and numbers, and it's incomprehensible without a reference. Fortunately, you can enter a code that you don't recognize into the DTC lookup, and it'll give you a brief explanation of what it is. In Tool Setup, you'll be able to change the tool's language and unit of measure from metric to imperial or vice versa. While diagnostics may be the most common use for the OBD equipment, it can also be used to help you look for potential enhancements for your car's performance. The data stream can be used to monitor fuel economy, power output, and more. Professional racers use this type of data to monitor performance on the track, and then tweak their cars to make them go faster. So potentially, you could too. Just don't ask me how. You'll have to go to another forum for more specifics. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.